News Talk 1620, WTAW, talk about what's going on in the arts. And uh, Amy's here this morning from the Arts Council. How are you this morning? I'm doing great. How are you? Good. Continuing our visits, uh, we have another artist in residence. This morning, right. right. Okay. So we've talked to Zachary and Apina, and now we have Ian Miller Crummy here. All right. Good morning, Ian. Thanks for being with us this morning. Thanks for having me. Tell us a little bit about you. Where do you come from? Uh, well, I'm from Houston. Okay. Uh, born and raised. Uh went to Rice University mm -hmm. uh, and graduated last May with a degree in photography and earth science. Okay, and so your medium is uh, photography? Yes, my medium is primarily photography, although these days I'm trying to branch out a little bit more into some sort of mixed media type of work. So your work here is going to include both the photography and the mixed media? Yeah, uh, currently what I have up is uh, sort of representative of, of the work that I did my senior year of college, mm -hmm. uh, which combined my uh, passions for earth science and photography, uh, as well as construction and woodworking, uh, to create these abstract pieces that are printed on transparency and backlit. Um, and sort of moving in that direction is where I think I want to go, mm -hmm. at least with my own work. Um, but I also do landscape, portraiture, you know, anything that you can take with a camera. Well, now, you're young enough that have you been digital your entire time, or did you start with traditional film? Um, actually, no. I, I, did start with, uh, I did start with film. Uh, my photography teacher in, in high school, Chu Benitez, uh, he, he stressed uh, the mechanics of photography and uh, used film as a tool to, to really uh, sort of hammer those points in. Uh, and I, I, love, I love film, but... It's difficult to do without a darkroom these days. Sure, it is, right. No, it is. That's, that's exactly what photography seems to have changed as much as any medium with the digital introduction, I would think. So you're from around here. So the move to, to Navasota, uh, at least socially, is not necessarily that different because you are familiar with the general area. But how will working in Navasota impact your work, in your view? Uh, well, I would say, I, I would say, I mean, first and foremost, having this sort of uh, six month block of time set aside for purely the creation of new art is going to be the biggest sort of impact uh, on my work. It's it, it gives me the time I need to be able to actually create. Um, and on top of that, uh, Navasota being a town uh, so steeped in history and, and with such uh, great landmarks, uh, I really want to try and uh, capture a lot of that in my in my work moving forward. So before this, were you in any collaborations or have you always worked independently? Uh, I've worked pretty much independently the entire, my entire time. Uh, not much in the way of collaborations, but uh, hopefully that's about to change. Sure. Now, uh, you, you say Navasota, and that's important, but do you plan to go out into the, the surrounding area as well and use some subject matter there? Absolutely. Uh, I mean, I absolutely love the Texas countryside, and I... I, I uh, have done work in Big Bend and out in West Texas, and uh, I think trying to get some some perspective of uh, of East Texas that people may not may not uh, necessarily know, you know, would be would be would be interesting. Certainly. Do you have a website? Uh, yes, I do. Ian dot dot com. Okay, you can spell that if you want to. I A N dash M E L L O R dash C R U M M E Y dot format dot com okay maybe you can get a link at the arts council site yeah probably be a good idea if you want to do that it's a okay. little long <laughs> okay very good well listen thanks for coming in this morning all right thank you very you much bet. anything else you got for us today well we've got um our exhibit up and running with lisa beeman's paper collage show at the texas gallery and there's a lot of great events going on as well springtime's picking up so everybody's getting back in the swing of events so if you want to find out more about the arts events going on you can visit acbv.org all right thanks a bunch thank you